Hey everybody, I uh, happened to uh, come across something kind of unique um, that I don't really know a whole lot about and haven't uh, played with before, so uh, I figured I'd share it on uh, my YouTube channel. But um, uh, my roommate, um, her grandfather, had a bunch of vacuum tubes that uh, they got rid of when he passed away. Um, they were left in his uh, basement, and uh, he just had you know dozens and dozens of these tubes. So uh, I uh, uh, asked if I could have them, and uh, after a little bit of uh, uh, discussing it with my roommate, uh, she was able to pick them up for me. So uh, what I'd like to show you is the tube tester that uh, uh, somebody at Makerspace here was able to loan me so that I could test these, because uh, you know, some of these um, tubes... Are, uh, could be worth a couple, you know, dollars. It could be a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, twenty, thirty. Um, but to you know somebody that uh, collects old radios or repairs old radios and amplifiers, um, this could be something that they'd be uh, really interested in. Uh, there's still a market for these. They still produce some vacuum tubes, but not a ton of them. Um, so let me show you real quick how you test these. So uh, this is the tester. This is a 1960s um, Department of the Army tester. Uh, you know, and you'd, it's in this case, you'd lug this around, I guess, with you and, uh, you know, if you were a technician. And uh, it comes with uh, all these sockets for plugging in various types of uh, uh, tubes and uh, also a reference manual um, for, um, you know, making sure that you've uh, got all these different tubes accounted for when you uh, take a look at them. So, what I'm doing here is I've looked up the tube that I just put in here, which is... Uh, a uh, 6SN7 um, and there's you know as you can tell from this book a lot of different types but uh, I've looked this up and I've already made my way through some of them but um, looking up this particular type uh, it says it's got two tests for it as you can see at the uh, the top here and I'll show you this it's got this book with all these different values in it and uh, up at the top we've got the tube type um, this is the filament voltage so this is what the voltage the uh, tube sees um, there's all these different selectors and these switches and knobs that you set to these different settings. There's uh, some bias, um, a shunt, and uh, uh, a range of values we're looking for on the meter. And then there's a, uh, a button you need to press to actually test it. Um, and what we're looking for when we press that button is the minimum value. Um, so as long as it's greater than the value listed in here, it's still good. And the notes on the side here tell you what each of these different tests mean. So as you can see, some of these have, you know, the same number over and over and over, and there's different things to test. So in my case, we're looking for the 6S and 7. Um, I've set the filament voltage here to 6.3. And all the other settings for this first test, uh, the first test is for triode number 1, uh, which uh, triode's like a diode. Um, so it only allows current to go in one direction. So we are going to uh, set everything to this uh, combination of settings. And uh, it says we've got an H and a Y. So the filament is H and Y. The next one is 4, 5. So grid number 4, plate number 5. And screen is 0, cathode is 6, and suppressor is 2. Uh, then after that, we've got these settings for, um, let's see here, if I can focus, um, the bias, which I'm assuming is the bias voltage, and then this shunt. And there's nothing there, so that's zero. This one was 23, however. Um, and then I set the meter for the function I want to measure for the range B. And what it tells me to do is push three over here on these buttons, and uh, I'm looking for a reading greater than 50. So, before I do that, however, I'm going to press this line adjust button, and that'll allow me to calibrate this. So I push that, and it goes right to the middle, which is perfect. That's exactly where I want it. So now I'm going to push 3, and see if I get a reading greater than 50. And I do, so this is still a good tube. Um, as you can see, I've already plugged this in. You probably wouldn't want to plug this in until you had your voltage set. And you can see there's these two little points of light on top that are glowing. So this is a real dirty old tube. It was in a, uh, a basement uh, with a wood shop. You can see there's little glowing dots on here, and that's the actual filament heating up. Um, so this tube's warmed up, and obviously it works. Uh, I can do the second test, which is uh, HY1. So I still have my H and my Y set here. I'm going to set this to 1 for my grid. So that's at 1. I set plate to 2. 
0.035. So that's at 0 for screen. Cathode is at 3. And then I will set this suppressor to 5. And my bias and my shunt remain the same. And my range is B. And I'm looking again for 50. So if I press 3, oh, I get a number greater than 50. So this is a good tube. So I will take that and put it in the pile with the rest of mine. And uh, I've, uh, I've got plenty of good tubes today, which is a, a good thing, because, you know, there was a lot of things here, and I want to be able to get as many of them uh, working so I can sell them as possible. And then these are my bad ones. I only got about, uh, let's see, like eight or nine of those. But most of them just didn't have continuity, or they didn't have... Um, they didn't test at all. Like the rectifier part wouldn't work, but um, there were no shorts. So one thing's good, but unfortunately the other one isn't. Or the rectifier might have worked, but you know there were a bunch of shorts, um, so things weren't connecting properly. So uh, I'm just going to continue uh, sitting here working on this. It's already been an hour or two, and uh, I'm a little less than halfway done. So um, just wanted to share that with you. I thought this was a really cool piece of uh, antique hardware, and obviously it still works. There's still a market for it. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, playing around with this uh, weird old box, uh, just like I did. So, thank you. Take care.